whoever plays here. Today, we will be surviving in the brand new nether in the 1.69, I think. <laughs> uh, all the numbers. Anyway, we will get into this and go to the nether and try survival. Later in the video, I'll also show you one of the worlds I have built with two of my great friends. And, and, that will be a treat, so make sure to stick around at the end of the video to see, make sure to stick around at the end of the video to see that. But, as of for now, we have to go to the nether to start the world, because obviously, if we're going to be surviving in the nether, we have to go to the nether to do it. We're going to be doing this by ourselves, as of now, at least. But, don't worry, later on, can show you how we do it with some of my other friends and um hmm looks like a good spawn point i'm gonna just uh set my spawn point right here spawn point and then i'll hop into game mode s and this is probably gonna be very hard <laughs> yes it is gonna be hard these are the top two priorities. Get wood and stay out of the way of piglins. Because we have no golden armor or a sword to defend ourselves. So we probably should get a base going right away. But they at least they have wood in the nether update. Right? Now we can actually survive and not die in the nether like you normally do in the before the update. You just die in the nether. And my wood stuck up there. I hate this when it happens. Okay, good. No need nether warp. I wish you could craft nether warp blocks into nether warp itself. Oh, well, they are just useless blocks. But that's okay. Because the next step of after you get wood, you'll need a pickaxe. And you might as well also want to, um, sword too because there's not much stone in the nether but um yeah here we will be back once i get these trees down and deal with any future piglins i did get the tools and the wood but i um also ran into some piglins <laughs> uh oh gold i'm gonna get that because I want to get some gold armor, and I don't have to worry about piglins. And I've pretty much already wasted my whole axe on fighting those piglins. So, man, whoever whoever said survival in the Nether was easy, never met me or did it themselves. Anyway, I think we should kill some some hoglins. For no, actually, not yet. <laughs> That's, I think this should be a good, this is a good spot for a base. Um, I'm probably gonna... Clock. Clocks go haywire in the nether. Everybody, you know, that knows that. Now, a good way to cook food is to get a campfire. So, which means we're gonna need a furnace to make that. And furnaces, that is where... Our dear friend, Blackstone. Blackstone can be, is, a, is the only source, or one of the only sources, of stone in the nether. You can find it or, near lava on shores or in basalt deltas. Seriously, I'm trying to make it... Anyway, Blackstone... We're gonna need some of that, so we're gonna have to go adventuring and see if we can find it. Uh, maybe I should pick a different world to do my showcases. Anyway, here we are back in the um, starting area, and we'll need to find some blackstone. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a wooden sword. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm not a noob, I just don't wanna die from piglins. And I might need it, so that I, that way, I can find myself some blackstone. And also, I'll need to craft another pickaxe, too, because it's only about sabotaged. Now, um... 
let's go to the uh, Blackstone mm -hmm. Deltas and see if we can find anything in the um here that we could uh, use to um get Blackstone. I mean, sometimes you can just find Blackstone. Oh gosh. Yeah. Wait. That is a basalt delta, and that is what we need. Look at this, dude. Wait. Ooh, look at this. What can we find in here? This is the basalt delta, so we could probably find some black. There we go. Blackstone. Now we might want to grab it and go before the gas get too angry. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to get enough materials for a furnace. I need a furnace. A uh, sword. Stone. Stone sword. Also, our stone pickaxe. Stone axe. And a furnace. And we got 16 left over. And the next part is to find a nether fortress or a bastion, which you can which you can get there riding a strider or other mobs. Like striders, if you want to ride a strider, you're going to need warped fungus and a stick. So, to do that, you might want to head to your local warped forest. And then, well, I picked a good seed and uh, got another fortress right here for us to explore. You're gonna wanna explore this whole thing. Look in the, you can, and in the nether fortress, you can find, you can find iron and diamonds. So, you might wanna head there. And gold, you can find pretty much everywhere. And you're gonna need gold to be safe from the piglins. So, that is probably, you're probably your next priority is to find a nether fortress. Then, you're gonna need obsidian so that you can go to the overworld and gather more resources, like sand for, glass so you can make potions and to get better and to get iron which means you're gonna need to look for diamonds diamonds can also be found in the nether fortress but if you can't find some diamonds to mine obsidian then look for a bastion because bastions have um they have obsidian in their chests so you can mine the so you can take the obsidian without having to actually mine it but if you can't find a bastion and you have a diamond pickaxe, look for a ruined portal to snatch their goods and snatch the obsidian and make yourself a portal to the overworld. And once you once you do some more repairing, you can finally go to the end and take down that dragon. And then go to the end of the game. Well, that was fun. Anyway, this video took me so long to do. Please leave a like and please subscribe to the channel. It's really helpful. And here we are. Back where we started. Well, that's how Minecraft goes, you know. And as I promised, I am going to show you the world I worked so hard on. Um, with my new friends, you know. Three, two, one. <laughs> Yo, what's going on guys? It's Red Replays here. And today we are in the world that I told you so much about. The one that I've been working so hard on. I don't have netherite, but I do have some pretty good diamond gear. Uh and we even have a really cute doggy, Kailua. Uh here are some of my stuff. Here's my inventory. Um and I might want to show you a little look a little look around. Uh, here is our gas proof wall and we can use this because it's made out of nether brick and gas can't break nether brick and you can see all the uh, trouble we've had with gas in the, in, the, um, in the past then we have um, my sister's house or we, we call her Alice in this game and um, no one allowed private room here are her swords here's some of her leftover stuff Private room, I guess. Painting. Some good stuff in there. And then she, she has a pet strider named Wilma and a cage for her. Although she's not even in the cage, I have no clue why. 
Then we have a watchtower. I'll show you the uh, the inside. Um, we have um, a little watchtower. Shoot gas, crossbow your bow, whatever you want to do. Uh, let me show you inside, which is a whole different story. Um, in here, we have a nether wart farm. Oh, and also I have soul, suit, soul sand boots, so where'd my dog go? Dog, where, Kailua, come on. Where, where'd he go? Come. I'll just make him teleport, come on. Where'd he go? Okay, you? Look at him, he's all happy again. Now follow me, follow me, follow me. Where are, come on. We have to show the boots. I'm gonna take off my soul sand boot, my soul speed boots for a little bit. And in here we have um another warp farm. It goes up pretty high. Uh, it's pretty cool. We have a um a safety bunker. Okay, these piglins get in. And uh it's fortified. We got some pretty good stuff in there. The provisions, you know. And then we got uh some hot we got our hot I got my hogland farm when I need when I'm low on food. Which uh, I actually am pretty low on food and I might need to go. Do a little bit of pudding. Um, here are my striders. Their their names are Sit. We don't want to have what happened to you last time to happen again. Stridey, Magni, Magni Two, Levy, uh, Nihilium, and Sprout. They're all rideable. They all have their own little um. Thing. We've got Magni the Second, Stridey. We've got Sprout. There's this. Lovey, Nylium, and Magni. They all have their own names, and uh, I I like them. They're um, really helpful when you need to go to like the Nether Fortress and stuff. My house is in here. I'll show you that later. We have a piglin wall because piglins kept attack getting into our base, and we didn't like it. And uh, piglins can't open um, fence gates. That's why we have a fence gate right here. And also, if they do get in. We have uh, this double wall for strider for piglin protection. We have uh, my old horse's um, grave. Rest in peace, my friend. And then um, my friend, his um, his strider lava. He died too. So they have graves in the graveyard. It's so sad. It, it, it honestly is so sad. Unless you don't care about animals, then it's not sad. Get some lava in the back for the striders. Then my house, we have some, um, this is like my little, this is my forge. We have uh, an anvil, furnace, and my chest full of my, oh my, leather building blocks. Where, where are you, Kailu? Anyway, this is my chest full of uh, blocks. Ones that I need to use. I got all types of blocks in the overworld and the nether. This is my enchantment room. It's my favorite tomb. Well, not my favorite, but the only one I got from killing. I actually got it in a dungeon in the overworld, so. I like it. We have uh, the God Sword, Trident of Awesomeness, and the Pickaxe of Awesomeness. Uh, I usually hang on to this God Sword. God Sword. See there. Lectern, Cauldron, my Fire Charge, and my Ender Pearl. Some leftover gear that I might enchant for today. And here we have our um, another room for working. We got a more of like a junk chest. And, um, I don't know if you could hear it with this song, sorry, but we're gonna have to take that out. I can't uh, talk to you, but, mm -hmm. yeah, you, you, you sort of got the idea. We have, um, my valuables chest, my food chest, my, um, my more of a junk chest. We got an upstairs, um, we got a warp fungus farm, got a heap of striders fed, you know? Um, up on the roof, we got my sheep farm. Um, we got my sheep. They're all babies still. She's gonna be a problem. Now, if we go upstairs, we have 
my new horse, Cream, and we have the Nether Portal. I'll show you the overall in a bit. But first, let's see. I forgot a few things um, that could be kind of important. Um, I have a friend. He is working on something. Let's get Kailu to come with us. He was working on something that I can't really remember. He was working on his house. Um, in here we... Don't, don't even ask me about it sometimes. Uh, we got our some basic appliances in this house, you know? Leftover, this is just his pretty much overall chest. And then he was working on an upstairs for his house uh, when we were last playing. So, yeah. here's the altar of uh, Ultimate Fire. Got some more soul fire everywhere. I don't know what it is what it is with me and soul fire. And this is a strider bridge to get um out to the lava. Down there. Uh we also have um the overworld. Let me show you that. Hello sheep. Uh I also got my rainbow sheep there. I really love my rainbow sheep. He's a cutie. Welcome. Oh, hi, hi, Lua. Let's go to the overworld. Let's show the yep. Let's show the viewers what's the other side of the portal. Okay. Here we are. It is my crafting station. You know, just got some decent stuff around here. Some extra storage and from sand. And here we are in the overworld. Uh, that's the uh, the mine where we get some stone and stuff like. We had to build the, uh, the case here for the portal, because you don't want creepers blowing it up, do you? No, no one likes creepers. Not even creepers like creepers. I probably only see, like, one of them, not in packs, but... Anyway, that is about gonna wrap up the video today. If you, if you enjoyed this video, and you want... If you like the, if you like what you saw and want to see more, please like the like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell so you'll never miss another video. And on that note, bye.